This is the main corridor of the palace. Uh, on the left hand side, you would have the first uh, assembly hall. Uh, so, uh, this palace uh, actually uh, more than the residential um, palace of the king, it was more, more of an administrative building. So, it has uh, uh, lower house, upper house, like modern day parliament. So, this is uh, this one big, uh, the big hall is, is, uh, is the lower house which you have a glimpse of, uh, which is used actually to have uh, brainstorming sessions, discussions for whatever political matters that would be discussed in this, uh, in this uh, assembly hall, which is a bigger hall and we have the upper house also, lower house and upper house, Captain uh, Kongyok, it is called. And there's a performance space also that we see. And uh, before, uh, before we see, uh, uh, we'll, we'll go to the royal shrine also, where we uh, have a look of what, what are the deities uh, that are there and the scriptures and then we'll go right on the rooftop to have the great view of the entire Lay Town. And I'll explain more about Lay Town and how it is all structured. So and, uh, after the invasion of the Mughals. In stock. So this is the royal uh, shrine, uh, chapel, and uh, the main deity here is of course uh, Shakyamuni Buddha and uh, Siddhartha Patra. Siddhartha Patra is uh, is a very powerful <coughs> uh, deity, uh, which is believed to be uh, have emulated from the Buddha's uh, Usnivasa. Usnivasa is the three-dimensional, um, you know, oval thing on, on, the, on the head of the Buddha. So this, uh, which uh, is uh, a protector of uh, Buddhism from supernatural powers and also witchcrafts. So this is considered a very uh, auspicious uh, uh, this deity. And this is a rare deity, a sculpture uh, uh, in, in the entire Buddha. There are two more such sculptures. One in Sarkar Monastery, one here, and uh, the third one. Uh, so, uh, Siddhartha Patra, uh, if you ha have a mantra also, if you, uh, I mean, devotional recitation of it uh, would lead you to be born in uh, the pure land of Sukhavati. Uh, we call it Devachan uh, in, the, in the West, um, which is. Uh, um, the land of Amitabha, Buddha Amitabha also. So this uh, deity, uh, protected deity, is considered very auspicious. So you cannot really precisely define the location north. But west, yeah. Yeah. west, west, you know, east, west. Uh, you have the land of Amitabha, Sukhavati is called. Amitabha. Yeah, yeah. So it's also called white parasol because it has. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, other than that, you have the uh, Buddha Shakyamuni and then uh, the Kandu scriptures. So this Kandu scripture is also there. This is also all the way brought from here. And it's uh, in the Kandu tradition also, there are two traditions. So this is one tradition which is really rare and you find this uh, scripture in very, uh, this, uh, the older tradition of Kandu. Uh, so,
Okay, done, done. Who <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, which is where, where they have a very fertile soil, conditions very suited for a lot of agriculture. Apricot, as you see here, and then one speciality about that region. It also grows uh, and then uh, the whole process of making is a very long process and fermentation uh, takes uh, years sometimes wow. uh, and it's yeah. considered better as uh, according to the age of the Excuse me, sir. Mama, 
इसको कैसे कैसे यूज किया गया हाँ कम सर क्यों चेंट खतो चेंट जुलाई तुम रिसेप्शन ही लोगे यहाँ पहुँचा चाहिए उधर तक ले उधर तक ले उधर तक ले
देखिए आइस स्केटिंग लद्दाख का आई मीन आइस हॉकी लद्दाख का नेशनल स्पोर्ट है तो आई फील के हम इसको ही इसके अंदर विद इन द कॉन्फाइंस ऑफ आइस स्केटिंग और आइस हॉकी तो आइस हॉकी से वी कैन डू सो मच मोर स्पोर्ट्स इज अ बिग यूनिफायर एंड अ बिग इक्वलाइजर बिटवीन द पीपल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड तो वी वी आई फील के लद्दाख हैज़ टू टीच द कंट्री के हाउ डू वी डेवलप अ स्पोर्ट विच इज़ नॉट पॉपुलर एनी वेयर एल्स फ्राम ऑब्सक्योरिटी टू यू नो uh uh more uh, like popular pop, popular over here i saw the other day ki guys hockey game chal raha tha nationals aur pura stadium bhara hua tha that is so beautiful now the world has to see that the country has to see that so and the initiative by the ut like the initiatives like these they are amazing i think imagine what can happen after t- the 10th conclave you know so this kind of discussions a forum like this is very important you where you are inviting people from outside and the locals they meet each other on a good platform on an equal platform discuss the development and discuss uh, how to move forward in a sustainable way so yahan pe the repeated uh, message was sustainable development where we respect the environment we respect the locals but we still want to develop aisa nahi hai ki nahi develop so that is something very inspiring for me um yeah so i was very i'm very proud and very happy and very humbled by the fact that they had invited me uh because you know uh, indian ice skating is a little bit not popular across the country so yeah you know so this is a very humbling experience for me and i'm hoping uh, we can uh, bring about positive growth and change within sports of i mean within within winter sports because the scope is so much over here and the potential is so much so i invite everybody who is watching this to come and do sports 
over here and engage with the locals. Uh, I have only met people who are smiling. I have not met anybody with a frown on their face. So that is very, uh, very inspiring. I was speaking, you mentioned you come to Leh once and you have to keep coming. And this, I think, my seventh or eighth trip and second in the winter. And what is fascinating is the landscape is so beautiful with snow and contrasting dark peaks and dark valleys. Um, I'm sure all my next trips are going to be in the winter. Beautiful landscape, wonderful people. Um, what I'm looking forward to is a little ecotourism wherein the local communities start benefiting from tourism and we are also able to disperse the tourists to different areas where they can do different activities. Uh, typically Pangongso, Nubra Valley, and these are the typical run-of-the-mill activities but I am looking forward to something much more uh, exciting where a lot of community partnerships and community starts benefiting directly from these activities is something that I would look at tourism in Ladakh. Thanks.